your own rule and complete the sequence. Write down the rule you have used. Okay, one, two, three. I used one. Choose another rule. Complete the sequence again and write down the rule. Yeah, so... Okay, then uh, I would do one, three, five, plus two... What? Can you say that again? I said one, two, three. The rule is I'm adding one. Okay. One, three, five. The rule is I'm adding two. Mm -hmm. So it's the number five rule will be done by John V. Okay, so copy the diagram. Write the numbers one, two, three, four, and five in the circle so that the total row is the same as the total of a column. Um, so, I think that there would be eight ways to do it. Okay, but like um, it says um, it says write down in the circle. So like, what would you do on the top right here and okay. the bottom right here? And, yeah. Hmm. I think maybe at the top would be five. Yeah. Okay. Me and. Mm. No, the middle would be five. Okay. And uh, the top would be two, but the bottom would be three. At um, at one side would be one, and on the other side it would be four. Okay. What about the top? What about I said the top would be two. Oh. So let's see. That's a five, and then that's five, and then that's ten. Okay, yeah, I agree. But when you put, put the five here, and you put if you put the if you move this two out of here, and then you get to the one right here, get that one right there. You can move this two right here. It would be the same thing. Uh, yeah. No, like, it would be, like, the same answer, you know. Yeah. Um, but that was not what I was going to do. So, yeah, that would be seven, seven plus one each, eight. Yeah. But, um, my way would still work. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I wonder why you even moved the five. Because I realized that the five would probably be great at the middle. Dart and end are usually good at the middle. Yeah, and you said that. What do you know about notice about the center? Um, the number in the center would be best if it was one or five. Um. Oh, oh, you mean like as in the center is getting added to all the other four uh, pieces? Yeah, something like that. But not exactly like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I would say the center doesn't really like matter because after you put the center in, I like... First, you need to make sure, like, the top and the bottom are equal to the side and the side. And then you can just put the number that's left in the center. That's what I noticed about the center. It doesn't really matter about the center. You can put the center, like, anytime you want. That's what I noticed about the center. And there are eight ways that I found out. So... We'll move on to question six, which will be done by Lochin. Okay, so question six, we're less than 20, and the odd number is 13. 
So all just less I mean no no sixty And then for not odd and less than okay, for not less than twenty and odd, it is thirty-five and twenty-five. Thirty-five. And then for not odd less than twenty, it's eighteen. And then the last one, eventually, it's forty-two. Yeah. Okay. So. I have a question. Yeah. What's your question? Are we close to finishing this? Um, we have about uh, nineteen pages left. Eight. No, pages. twenty-eight pages. Eight. Yeah, twenty-eight pages. Okay. So about thirty. Okay. So. So how we, long do you think it's gonna be over? Hmm. Um, well, we have about 30 pages, so that's all right. It's probably going to be like a long time. do it six, seven, probably or like two okay. weeks. Okay, so Neil, you can do number seven. Okay. Odds is, here are three word cards, odd, even, odd. Which card could you use to complete each of the sentences? When you add two even numbers together, the answer is an even number. Yeah. Because odd plus odd is equal to even, for example. And even and even is equal to a even. Yeah. Yeah. An even plus an even is equal to an even. Um, but for, for example... Um, if you add two odds, you get even. For example, three plus three, which is odd plus odd, is equal to six. So, yeah. It's odd plus odd is equal to even. What about B? But, uh, even plus odd is odd. Wait, can I do B? Yeah, B. When you subtract an odd number from an even number, the answer is, I think, I think it's an uh, odd number. Okay, yeah. so let's get an example. Three plus wait, wait, I have an example. Uh, what about like uh, 11 minus... Uh, wait, actually, no, you're going to get an even number. No, you're going to get odd. Just odd take minus two. even equals even because if you do like... Uh, Wait, no, it's not. It's okay. I'm getting confused. Hold on a sec. Can I uh, explain real quick? I have an easy way. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's odd. Like, like just take two. Just take two simple numbers. Like wait, three, I've got one. Wait, three I've got minus one. two equals I've odd minus even, even, and that equals one, wait, which I've is odd. One. So yeah, odd. Wait, I've got one. Okay, what is it? Uh, so the answer is gonna be odd, and because like for example. Do uh, 11 minus 5. I mean, 11 minus 6. That's an odd number minus an even number, okay? And then you get the answer 5. You could also do that with the number like 17. 17 minus 6 is equal to 11. It's an odd number. So the answer is going to be an odd. Yeah. So num uh, you can also do C. Let just write odd. Okay. When you add three odd numbers together, the answer is, uh, I think, odd. Yes, it is odd because this gives you the information. So, like, for example, uh, wait, uh, three plus three plus three. Three plus three is six, which is an even number. But if you add another three, that makes it a nine. Yeah. So, yeah. Or you can take one plus one plus one. Yeah, you can also do that. Yeah, it's just an easy way to understand. Yeah. Uh, but with the given information here that you answered, um, you can also figure that out because odd plus odd is equal to even, right? And yeah, odd plus odd is equal to even. And then that and then that odd and odd is equal to even now. So even plus odd 
is going to be equal to odd because of the given information. Yeah. So the uh, so it's odd. So a region you can do eight. You can do numbers. Okay. Eight. It says write an example to match each of the general statements below. The sum of an odd number and an even number is an odd number. Yeah. Odd number. So it would be three plus two, which is equal to five. Yeah. B. It says the sum of three odd numbers is odd. So you could do three plus three plus three, which is nine. C. Any odd number is double a number. Subtract one. I don't under. I didn't understand that one. Okay. So it said any odd number is double a number plus one. So let's. Uh, it said let's subtract go. one. It said uh. You said uh, you said plus one, but it's uh subtract. Oh, we're doing C. I forgot. So plus so uh for example three three is doubled by one and then plus one um five is doubled by two and then plus one like that. Oh, so we um uh so we could do uh seven times seven is fourteen. Any odd number is double. Well, don't you do seven plus seven as double? Or you could do seven times uh seven times two. Um. Well, even if you do that, you'll get different numbers. Like if you take seven plus seven is fourteen. Fourteen plus one is odd. Fourteen plus one is fifteen. So that's basically odd. And when you take seven times seven, forty-nine and forty-nine plus one is fifty. It's even. So, yeah. One is odd and one is even. You have to know which one is. What it means by double and subtract one is so. Subtract. You're glitching, cool guy. What? What? You're glitching. Oh. So um, it said. Now it said a number. Um, number one minus. I mean. <laughs> Uh, a, uh, a double a number and then minus one. So yeah, yeah. So let's say we had seven. Um, uh, if you double, um, let's see, seven. If you double four and then subtract one, you get seven again. So yeah, that's what basically what it says: double and then subtract one. You have to double the number and make sure you at least get one. Uh, I mean, you have to get one extra than that, or you can take two extra and, and subtract two, or you can add two, like that. It's not like double the number you use and then do plus one or minus one. It's not like that. So, so can I do E? Yeah, you can do E. Seven minus four is three, which is odd. So the oh, no, no. Yeah. So. Wait. Yeah, that is basically what it says. Seven minus three is... It's like two odd numbers. It said two odd numbers. Exactly. Seven is odd and three is odd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought I said four. I think you have to write true or false. Um, it says write the example. No, it says write an example to match the problem, not to like say true. Yeah. So, let me just get out of that. Okay. Let's move on to the next page. Okay, it says exploring fraction. Let's investigate. Let's investigate will be done by Vakshita. She can hear me. Let's see what's going on here. Hello, Varshita. Okay, she's not responding. Okay, Vishu. 
You can do let's investigate. Okay. Let's use digits from one to ten to make as many pairs of equivalent fractions as you can. So try using number cards, for example. So I can just say them. What it would be a so I, I can just say them because we don't have any cards. Yeah. You can say them. So um like one one over three would be two over six. Yeah. And uh one over four would be two over eight. Yeah. One over two would be uh two over four. Three over six. Yeah. And mm, one over three. Uh, equals Kuga, seven. why can I not see the participants list button? Uh, oh, uh, he disappeared. Because he disabled the chat, and if you go to the participants uh, list and you click on somebody, you can chat again. So that's why it disabled, you know. No, but I like it like that. Why don't you put chat? Okay. So. I know, but like, we don't need it right now. Okay. Well, then I can see who's going first and then next. Yeah, like, we need the participants list. You can pin the people no. from first to last. No, it's, we don't need to pin anybody. Um, Rithvik can call who's going. Yeah, so, let's see. Who am I bef after? You're after Avi. So, uh, now it's my turn to do number one. So, it says, look at the fraction wall. Okay, so the answer for A is 3 by 6. Who is currently doing it? Me, right now. So, A... Can you guys, like, stop interrupting? Okay, so A is 3 by 6. Uh, B is 6 by 12. C is, let's see, 2 by 6. And then D is four by 12 and then uh e is wait i disagree i disagree disagree i think it would be eight what for d for d okay so here's why i wait yeah me too sorry eight. Yeah. Eight. uh i was dividing these because oh. that's how i normally like most of the time, I do like that. Well, if there is, if there's a word um one in the numerator, yeah, I, I wasn't. Uh, that's why I didn't like see that two there. I was just focusing on the denominators. Yeah. Yeah. So I agree with eight. So, uh, e will be the <laughs> e. The answer for e is c. Oh uh, yeah, um, three. Wait, no, <laughs> it's nine, not three. Nine by twelve, and then F is ten by twelve because this is a times two, so you times two. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So number two. Oh, number wait, five. we could have simplified it. What? We could have simplified. Lots of fractions. Yeah, that was actually simplifying. One more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Avi, you can do number two. Avi, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Okay, that's weird. Ishwar, you can do number two then. I do not number two. Yeah, Find four pairs of equivalent fractions on the grid. Which fraction is left over? Fractions then. 
Why does cool guy always have technical difficulties? What do you mean technical difficulties? I can't see technical difficulties on your screen. See, it was black. It is? Yeah. Is it now? Now it's not. Now it's not anymore. I, I understand why. 4 by 10. Wait, wait. 4 by 10 on what? Oh, what do you number two. So it says find four pairs of equivalent fractions on the grid. Which fraction is left over? Four by what? Four by four four. by ten. Oh yeah, I agree. Four by ten. No, it has to be like a pair. Find four pairs. No. It um the the real question is what which pair is left over so um Ishwar, how did you get that because i agree like how did you get that so i just pick a number find its equivalent fraction then go to the next number and i did it to all of them and i got four pairs and i got one left over which is four tenths okay so this is well, it, well, actually it's not what you're supposed to do in the instruction. What? <laughs> That's actually not what you're supposed to do. Um, uh, you have to tell the four pairs. What? You have to tell the four pairs. You. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's. So, that's what. He I'm took the reminder. One which is left. Yeah. Uh, so, You're supposed to tell what are the pairs. Yeah, like this. So, there is 1 by 2 and 5 by 10, because if you multiply by 5, this 2 becomes a 10, and then this 1 becomes a 5. And there is also 4 by 5 and 8 by 10, because uh, if you multiply by 2, eight, eight, 4 times 2 is equal to 8, and then 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So those are equivalent to. So um, there is also three by ten and three, thirty by a hundred because if you multiply by ten, this three becomes thirty, and then this ten becomes a hundred. And there's there's also seven by ten, and there's also thirty five by fifty. If you because if you multiply by five, five times seven is thirty five, and five times ten is fifty. And uh, there's no more things left for four, 4 by 10, so the answer is 4 by 10. Okay, so who's next? Who's next? John, you can do number three. John, okay. You yep. put the spider diagram shown below. Complete it so that its opposite fractions add up to 1. Okay, two fifths for the top part. Two fifths. Okay. Um, so like two fifths would be my answer for like oh uh, for the one across the three fifths. This one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I agree. With two fifths. Three fifths. Two fifths. Okay, let's change this color. Let's do bright. Yeah, maybe you should make it a dark blackish color, probably. Yeah, I'm making it black. Okay. So, two by five. Um, okay. okay. And then the um, one underneath it, it's going to be three tenths. Three tenths. Yeah. Then the one underneath that would be three fourths. So three fourths. Or you could say it as in oh six eighths. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Six eighths. Two fourths. Yeah. Three fourths. Yeah. No, two fourths for the one underneath it. Oh yeah, yeah. I agree. Two. Two fourths. Okay. The way of saying one half. Wait, wait. What like? <laughs> How could you tell that 2 over 5 plus 1 over 4 is equal to 1? 2 over 5 and 1 over 4. Uh, I'm not doing that. It's like the ones that are side to side. This, this. Wait, no, I don't think so. Because, no, like, com copy the spider diagram shown below. Complete it so that... All the fractions actually the opposite means like follow the line. Which means like this. This is opposite to this. Yeah. But like two over five. Even though it connects, it just means kind of like a V shape. Yeah, kind of like a V shape. Like this. And yeah. line shapes. Yeah. Except it's kind of curved. So it's like Maybe so this actually goes. So one by two goes here, one by four goes here, and then seven by ten goes here, and three by five goes here. So yeah. So number four why do I have to erase everything? Okay. Number four will be done by Lochin. Lochin. So number four, uh, look at these shapes. One of the shapes matches all the descriptions below. Which one is it? So the first one is part of the shape is shaded. The shape is not a circle. The shape is not divided into fifths. The shape is divided into equal parts. More than one third of the shape is shaded. So... I think that is three. It's three? So it says, yeah. look at these shapes. One of the shapes match matches all the descriptions below. Which one is it? Part of one shape is shaded. The shape is not a circle, so it's not five and seven. And it's definitely not eight because none of the none of that is shaded. Yeah. And the shape is not is not divided into fifths, so this is not the right one. And so these are your only options. And it says the shape is divided into equal parts. More than one third of the shape is shaded. This is only one one about oh yeah about one third. Uh, and it says more. Well, than it's not even divided into equal parts, so it already went out. Yeah. yeah. But so that means we only have one left. It, yeah. Number three. Yeah, number three. Yeah. Yeah, what did you say, Pollen? Oh, yeah, Pollen's not here. <laughs> Something sounded like Pollen. So, um, number five will be done by Neil. Okay, so which one? Number five. Number five. Complete the number statements using the, one of these signs, equal, greater, or less. I mean, less get or greater. Okay, let me just see. So, um, I think that uh 17 by 20 is bigger than 3 by 4. um okay here uh, three, 3 3 yeah. dash 4 is lesser than uh 17 by 20. yeah um here's why i agree it's because so since these denominators are not equal, I multiplied them and I got 80 on the denominators. Then I multiplied these and these 
and so 20 times 3 would equal to 60, and then 4 times uh, 17 is equal to 68. That's 8, and that means that 17 by 20 is 8 times bigger than 3. Yeah. By four. Or you could do like 20 times 3 and 14, 4 times 17. Whichever is bigger. That's what he just did. That's what he just did. Oh. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. Um, I uh, guess I'll uh, also do B. Um, you can, yeah, you can do B, but just wait there. B shoot. Um, you can't just do it like that because if you, if, wait, yeah, you can actually do that. So it's 20 yeah. times 3 is 60, and 17 times 4 is, uh, uh, I think, yeah, 51. And uh, whichever is bigger, it's, um, yeah. Yeah. Whichever number is bigger, the whole fraction is bigger. Yeah. But, like, 60 is bigger than 51, then 3 by 4 is bigger than 17 by 20. Okay. Um, this is not actually 51. It's 68 because 4 times 17 is equal to... Oh, yeah. So yeah. 17 times 3. Yeah, because there, 4 times 10 is 40, and then 4 times 7 is 28. If you add that up, you get 68. Yes. So, yeah, Neil, you can do this. Yeah, hold on. I'm just calculating. Hold on. Okay. Oh, this one's kind of easy. Yeah, I'm just hold doing it. Okay, hold on a sec. Simplify. Okay, I got. I think they're both equivalent. Yeah, because um. Yeah. So because I cross multiplied, and for both answers, I got uh two hundred fifty two. Okay. Well, actually, that's like it is super hard to do. Thirty six times seven and twenty eight times nine. So what you could do is you can simplify it. With four, it would be seven. The numerator, if you divide it with divide it. With um four, it would be seven, and if you divide thirty six with four, it would be nine, and seven over nine is they're the same. Or you could half them, so just twenty eight gets to fourteen, and then half the fourteen gets to seven. Same with the thirty six and nine. So thirty six half is eighteen. Eighteen half is nine. So they're equivalent. Yeah. Um. Okay. Here's the easiest way that I think it. So. Here's the easiest way. I, in my opinion, this is the easiest way. So seven times four is equal to twenty-eight, and nine times four is equal to thirty-six. So they're both equal. That's the easiest way, in my opinion. Yeah, that actually is really easy. So okay, so yeah. I think, um, uh, I have already got my answer for this one. One by three is bigger. Yes, I agree. This one is so easy. Yeah. This one was so easy. Yeah, it's because um, the numerator is same. So That's kind of strange. Yeah. But Usually, like, the first one is easy and the last one is hard. But this one is almost like the other way around. Yeah. Like, not, not all of them, the first one is easy. Yeah. Okay, so um, it's one. Is, I mean, it's it's less than because so the numerator is same. So whichever one is smaller on the denominator is the one that's bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know that method. Yeah. Um, that's like the easiest method uh to use than uh cross multiplying those two. Yeah. That's yeah, but that's not, you can only do that if you um have same denominator. Yeah, I know. Sorry, you, know. you but you you don't actually have to. You could also do that method when you have uh the denominator same. Uh yeah, but yeah yeah yeah. If uh, the second easiest way for me, if there's like one on the top, I just I can just flip these. Uh no, I can switch. The denominator on the uh, on the fraction to the other side on the numerator, and then the denominator on the fraction to the other side of the like to the other fraction. That's only for like when there's ones on the top. You can switch them. 
and then you can see which one's greater. And then put them back. You can put them back and see. Or you could also do this. Like, whenever the denominator is the same, you, when you look at the numerator, whichever one is bigger, like, for example, uh, if the denominator is, if the fraction is, like, 2 by 4 and then 3 by 4, you, you can tell that uh, 3 by 4 is bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Because this time the denominator is same. Basically, yeah. like the uh, most easier fraction. How to, I do okay, that? How, how I do that is I just show. think the opposite. How I do that? I just think the opposite of the denominator, the numerators being the same. Yeah. So yeah. we will move. The, on. Yes. Yeah. Like, those are the, basically, those are the easiest to compare. The ones with the yeah. um. Same numerators yeah, and denominators. Which those are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I guess region's gonna do number six. Yeah, he is, but I don't normally use like switching these because it's really weird to use that. So I don't use that normally. So what switchy things? Uh, like when you switch the uh four numerators up and the, I mean the denominators up. Yeah. Okay. It's really weird. Let's move yeah. on. We wasted lots of time. Yeah. And so, Srijan, you can do 6, A, B, and C. Okay. So, uh, 1 fourth plus 3 fourths is equal to 1. 3 fourths plus 1 fourth is equal to 1. Yeah. Two, th two fifths plus three fifths is equal to five fifths or one one whole. Yeah, I agree. So next page, 86. So, let's see. Um, Varshita, can you hear me? Okay, she can't hear me. So Vishu, you can do, uh, let's investigate. Okay. Each cloud contains the digits from a fraction and its equivalent decimal. The digits have been mixed up. Write the fraction and the equivalent decimal for each cloud. Yeah. Uh, so, 4 over 8 and 0 0.5. Mm, yeah, I agree. Uh, 3 over 3 and 0 0.10 or 0 0.1. Yeah. I agree. And then... Mm, 2 over 4 and 0 0.5. Yep, I agree. Okay, so it's number 1 will be done by me. It says look at the number line. Okay, I looked at the number line. Use the number line to help you find the larger number to, in each of these pairs. Okay, so the larger number is 0 0.3 for A. And then for B. Yeah, it just said, uh, look at the number line. And then you were like, I just looked at the number line. Yeah, so well, B, uh, the answer is uh, 0. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, it's 1 by 2, and for C, it is 0 0.25, I'm pretty sure. And then for D, it's 0 0.6, wait, no, it's 1, it's one by 2, and uh, for E, it's, it's equal. Do we have to all rejoin when the meeting ends? Uh, no, you don't have to. Because we... So when is the meeting going to end? In five minutes. Okay. Um, F is one, definitely. And then G is 0 0.5. And H is uh, 1 by 4. Whoa. Maybe some people are there. Okay, so number two will be done by Ishwar. Ishwar. Okay, 
This table shows a fraction and its equivalent des its equivalent decimal. Copy the table and complete it. Okay, one tenth yes. is equal to zero point one. Yep. Yeah. Then this is a uh, three fourths. What? Oh yeah, this is three fourths. And the next one is zero point twenty five. Uh, can you, the last uh, one yeah. is uh. Are you sure? Can you tens? Can you slow down? This one was three fourths. Wait, that wait. one. That one was zero point two five. Okay, zero. Wait, what was um three over four again? Three over four was for the second one. And the last one is zero ten six six ten six. No, 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 six tens. Yeah. Okay, so number three will be done by John V. Great. Um, I mean, yeah. So I think the answer is all of them except point three four, three six, and point four five. Uh, which one? Um. All of them except point three four, um, three six and point four five. Okay, let me just. Can you can you say that again? Everyone except point three four, three six and point four five. All the others are greater than it, than one half. Okay, which, yeah, I agree. 0 0.55 and 6 by 8 and 0 0.7 and 3 by 4. Yeah, uh, those are all greater than 1 by 2. So we'll, we will move on to the next page. Next page. Page 87. Okay, so Lochin, you can do number four. Okay, so number four. Oh, oh. For number four, it is one sevens and seventy hundreds. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so the uh, number five will be done by Neil. Okay, so number five, right? Yeah, number five. This diagram represents the mixed number. One whole, one by three. Okay, yeah, I get that. Look at these diagrams, right? That, right? Each as a mixed number. Okay, so for A, I would say two holes and one by three. And then for B, I would say one hole, two by three. Yeah. And then for C, I would say four, I mean two hole or one by four. Yeah, I do. Six will be done by... Terrific! Yeah. Three. 